the members who are coming forward to share their knowledge at the quickest point of introduction of technology the way our panelists have adopted in using their day to day activities using of ai in their day to day activities is actually a testimony that our profession is so agile that in one of the corners of the country there is one person or they might be tens of people who are adopting technology in a true spirit friends many of we use tally as a normal software in our day to day practice for auditing few of them for accounting or for filing of gst returns tds returns and many more but the future that we are predicting and the things that are on the place before us is all ai driven things now let's move to the another panelist who is the dashing lady vandana dodia so over to you vandana ma'am thank you ms ji and thanks the three panelists who showcased all the ai and thank you for giving me an opportunity as the time say ki tomorrow is artificial intelligence will take over in tally prime i am associated from say say 89 so in digital era i am now taking up qr code which is come in tally release 3.0 uh, which was released on 27th may 2023 so almost a year has passed i am taking a use case of payment vendor digital payment vendor jab hi chahte hain hum log when we when we ask for a payment they say i have to add the beneficiary it will take time 24 hours and then the payment comes so this is the pain point of all the uh, supplier when when we ask for the customer outstanding receivables is the pain point and i think this is very important when uh, uh, thing which we need to work on and i will just share my screen with you all is it visible yes visible okay so here we go with uh, our ppt okay so coming to this qr pay code uh, how to generate in tally the way pankaj explained certain features in tally are inbuilt tally is working on ai i think since erp 9 era and punit may correct me help file for every features in tally you will have a full encyclopedia of the details which is there on the tally help menu so the way they said ke chat gpt ke paas you go to chat gpt instead of chat gpt basic features when you want to use you can use the tally help file coming back to any payment when i want to make nowadays it is in thing even you go to uh, bhaji wala they are showing you qr code any any road side vendor also showing you the qr code so the tally already started giving this facility and i was so thrilled and excited to showcase it where where we can generate the qr code so tally has given me opportunity to create qr code while sending the sales order so advance payment agar aapka terms of payment hai you can ask for the uh advance payment using uh, qr code printed in the your uh, sales order you also have the opportunity to create a qr code in delivery note you have the opportunity to create in invoice debit note and outstanding statement and last but not the least it is auto generate payment link so it is already inbuilt algorithm in tally once you specify the command it will automatic prompt you do you want to generate once you save the voucher it will prompt you do you want to generate the link so let's now see how actually it works so we will go to see the tally live so i have one company so in a tally anything which is inbuilt feature you need to enable so let's press f11 what i want to enable i repeat this feature has come in tally release 3.0 so those of you you are using 2.0 need to upgrade yourself here is enable payment request to share i will go here and say enabling so i will say yes then it tell will prompt me pro, uh, whatever is your name just write that company's name or your personal id if you want to use you will put that over here then upi ways of pay pay you there are three payment options which you can integrate let's put some uh, upi id so when you go to your google pay or paytm account you will get your upi id 
it is like something called YBL at Axis Bank dash one or something. This you put it and ask every time. One more thing in Dali, F11 as well as F12 configuration is always important. So whenever I am in any feature, I can press F12, which will show me show option to say payment link QR code while generating from reports as well as so these needs to be enabled. I have already enabled it. Set payment link expiry. So generally we can have an expiry period up to 30, 40, 60 days so that the user can predefine while sending the link. So, and not only one uh, merchant ID, you may have two, three credit card tie-ups, you know, when they are on the counters or you have three bank accounts and you want to make, uh, get the funds in one particular bank. So, you can create more than one merchant ID also. That facility is also available. I am pressing Control A to save this. Once I have saved it, now people will say, let's have some uh, new voucher. So, when I want to enable voucher and then save it, what I have to do, Alt G. Alter master voucher type. You go to voucher type and any sales whenever I will be generating. See, generate payment link QR code after saving voucher. So in voucher type, you have to enable it. Once you save it, so whenever you will create a voucher, it will prompt you for the generation of link. So that is one thing. So quickly, if I can get a name of the party. And uh, whatever, I'm just creating one dummy entry for us. To just get you an idea. Okay, just no time. So I'm just saving the voucher. And I will go for, so it has not uh, prompted me. Understand, I am holding myself in sales order. Understand, this is how it works. So I have created FX sales. I'm so sorry. But this is what I wanted to show you. When you create something under something and then you want to get my answer. Nahi aare, to this is the reason where I created save voucher uh, QR code in sales type voucher type. And I was uh, standing in sales order type. So let me have a service income. Anything I will just create, create it. Say one line. And I will save it for one leg. So it will prompt you. Do you want to generate payment? So you understood. Okay, whichever voucher type I have enabled, it will prompt me. I will say yes. So it will ask me ATL Industries 45. Now Tele gives me flexibility. If I have a payment terms, 50% advance, 50% after delivery. Or after 30 days or whatever may be terms of payment. So here I have an op opportunity to write the amount which I want to take. And also they have given me remarks. So kindly make advance and rest after whatever days, seven days or jobi after payment comes in. So all this, the so QR code is generated successfully. That is the message we are getting. After this, suppose ki you want to share the invoice. Let's see how it will look like. So configuration, I have pressed control P. And here method of payment, link and QR code. Okay. So control P, control A and the preview. And here is the link is generated. So this is as simple as that. So it is already integrated in Delhi. And now this was the new voucher. Now people say, I have already generated the bill last month. Can I? Yes, you can. So anytime, anywhere you can create. So let's understand even in outstanding uh, reminders when you want to send. So let's understand one, uh, uh, two minutes if I have, I can showcase that statement of accounts, outstanding receivables, where we can just take ledger wise, other up, you want to see ledger wise, multi ledger, multi creation of QR code, that is also possible. Last I last will last. showcase you one account, for example, all G friends digital, I will uh, want to check for only friend. I just wanted the name of the client. Jaha pe mujhe kuch lena hai. So F5 bill wise. And you can select all bills or some of the bills. When you want to generate the QR code. So now suppose ke I want to generate QR code when the outstanding report. So Alt Z exchange. Generate payment link and current. So whatever. So here also they ask me what amount you want to generate. So I like 23,000. I have selected. And then accept. So from the outstanding, it will generate. And it is successful. So then, just when you see the print, 
specific bill which was for that five lakh twenty three thousand and yes अभी मेरा about eight sixty seven था तो वो generate होगा तो eight sixty seven था so just let let you be careful when you are generating it okay so this is how your outstanding also can be made generating the QR code so it's so flexible so in outstanding also अच्छा okay, and the whenever you are sending the invoice you can print now previous outstanding amount also that also you can take care I can go on like anything auto login is there auto load of companies is there so so on and so forth uh, giving me an opportunity to share the wisdom what we have gained using tally for so many years it has actually my tagline is there to the users and participants and everyone around here to save time use tally prime thank you thank you vandana dodia madam and you have very nicely given a one liner if you want to save time use tally prime that is a one of the good punch line that you have given and friends she has also search and she has taken out the qr code based integration what is qr code qr code is also a technological language where ai is used you scan it and all the data is there and you make a payment so friends already tally integrated the features now our panelists are Deep diving in tally and bringing out the AI enabled features in tally. So hats off to you, Vandana, and you have very rightly shown a shortcut that if you have a QR code on your invoice, on your ledger, on your voucher, and you sent it to the party to via email, via WhatsApp, even CS can use it, and it is very useful because now in MS uh, ME. The 45 days thing is there, and the payments need to be done as fast as possible. So this is a very good use case. Thank you, Vandana, for giving us a uh, new just, dimension of your. Please code. one one minute for all the chartered accountants. You can go to a report also day book and see we uh with the vouchers payment link generated as well as vouchers without payment link. So that help helpful feature is also available there. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, thank you, Vandana.